Hi there, it's Susan. Today I'm doing a bloom. And I'm just going to go over this canvas that I uh, did a previous bloom on, it looks like. So, don't like it anymore, so I want to go over it. Okay, so I am using Sherwin Williams color to go white base. That's enough. I'm not too sure. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> I'm going to pop a couple air bubbles. Oops. Actually. I see more than that, but no, that's it. So that looks good. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit on the corners in case I don't have enough paint to go over the edge. I think I do, but sometimes I can't tell. All right, that should be enough. So I am going to put black with pouring medium on the bottom. Then one color, I'm using Bordeaux red. Then I'm going to put piggies, some piggies, three of them. Um, oh, some interference piggies. And then a little bit of white. Is it white cell activator? Yeah, white cell activator. And then black. Fingers crossed, it works. Okay. So this is just black, oxide black actually. Amsterdam mixed with the pouring medium. By using this much black on the bottom, it's almost like I'm using black base. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. See if it works. Okay, so this is Arteza Bordeaux Red. Then I'm using this little piggy glisten. Did I end up using it all? Okay, now I'm using this little piggy sequence.
And then this little piggy, Twinkle. These are interference colors. I'm not gonna end up using all of this Twinkle. Okay, that's a lot of paint. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> I'm gonna get ready for this. Air bubble. Whoops. Come on. Okay, so a little bit of white, and I just need a little dot. Looking pretty strange. Oops. All right, now black cell activated. Dizzy. All right, <clears throat> it's still down a bit in the middle. Oh, I'm dizzy. So I'm gonna just spin. Whoa. Splatter. Whoa. Awesome. So I'm gonna go this way. Uh. <laughs> I'm splattered. That looks pretty awesome. Get enough paint off, but I don't. I don't want to lose a lot of this. Hmm. Um, I want to move this over this way or over this way to this corner. So I'm going to just move my canvas over a bit, just off, off side of it, and then I'm going to spin it, and it should, hopefully, it should knock that off and not this. <laughs> Didn't expect that. It wasn't stuck. Oh no. Oh. What happened there? So I banged it. Which side do I want? Alright. Okay, so 
Just putting it on the paint a little bit so it sticks. Oops. Darker than I expected, but it's because of the black. Maybe I used too much. Uh oh. Yeah, it's working. very dark but I don't mind it all right so okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can if the paint moves then there's still too much paint on the canvas and I have to keep spinning see it moving. So I'm going to show you a close up. I don't think it's moving. cool. It's dark, not that much, but I like it. Okay, I have to fix the sides up a bit. So, I don't think it's moving, so I don't know. safe side. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Well, that wasn't a good plan. Okay, I think, uh, I don't think I should uh, do any more. It's moving so I am good to go um, but there is one thing here that I need to fix I have a white dot here I'm gonna try and get rid of it yeah just stick a, a toothpick in the middle of the dot the white dot and it brings the other paint around and in and covers up the dot see it's gone so 
I will bring you down for a close-up. I think it should look pretty awesome once it's dry. It's really hard to see the shining of the pigments in this light. Alright, I'll show you the dried results at the end of the video.